Hi, my name is Chris Tillotson, Chief Information Officer for ICE Energy, and I'm back again today with Dr. Marcel Christians. And we're at the IDEA Lab, and today we want to talk about, Marcel, the, the IB20. And this is, a, this is a product that we haven't covered in much detail in our series. Why don't you, if you would, why don't you tell us about the IB20, how it relates to our, our previous solutions, our flagship IB30 product, and what differentiates it from, from those products? The Iceberg 20 was our first residential product that was meant to replace the air conditioning in your home. Um, so it, it operates basically in two different modes. Uh, the first is in, uh, it can store energy as ice at night and it can deliver it during the middle of the day or during peak times. Um, it can also store that energy using solar over generation as well. Right. Um, and then the second mode, which is what allows it to replace the air conditioning in your home is that it can provide active cooling or direct cooling, which is a term that we use interchangeably, um, which is when it uses its own compressor to deliver cooling directly during off-peak hours. Right. So, so people watching understand our, our flagship IB30 product supplements the cooling of an existing air conditioner. We use our ice storage, our thermal energy storage, to replace an existing air conditioner and then return control back to that air conditioning unit when we're done for a, a four or a six hour period of time. And the IB20 completely replaces an existing air, air conditioning system. That's right. Marcel, why don't, why don't we talk a little bit about energy efficiency and how it applies to the IB20. The Iceberg 20 is an interesting product because it's a hybrid air conditioner. Okay. Um, and when we look at what efficiency uh, standards we have to um, design for, it's very simple to do so when we know that we have an air conditioning system. Right. Um, and um, when you introduce the, the fact that there is a thermal energy storage device that's integrated into the system, that becomes a little bit more difficult because there aren't actually any standards out there that are valid for that specific product. What we decided to do is um, test our Iceberg 20 in a certified laboratory and get a SEER rating in its active cooling mode. So, I mean, as, as all homeowners know, when you go and purchase an air conditioning system, you're going to look at the SEER rating because that's what, and which actually stands for seasonal energy efficiency ratio. And um, it, it really gives you as a customer, as an end user, um, an understanding of how much energy is going, you're going to be using and that translates directly to how much money you're going to be spending on a yearly basis on your air conditioning needs. Right. Um, so we decided with the Iceberg 20 to do that testing in its active cooling mode. Right. Yeah. And what, what were the results of that testing? So we designed our Iceberg 20 in active cooling mode to meet the California energy efficiency requirements for air conditioning systems. Right. Um, when we did our testing at uh, Intertech, at their upstate New York facility, our SEER came out to be 14.56, which actually exceeds the California energy requirements. When we look at that globally, when we look at that energy efficiency globally, um, what that rating allows us to do is really to be able to compete internationally. So, so we've got this hybrid solution. We've, we've got the direct or active cooling mode. And then we've got our ice storage that we're providing. So we've, we've, that's the hybrid aspect, right? We're combining those two. Um, talk a little bit, even though the standards don't apply, obviously SEER doesn't apply to our ice cooling mode. Can you talk a little bit about what would be a SEER type equivalent or an energy efficiency ratio equivalent for the ice cooling portion of our solution? In, uh, when, when we're doing ice cooling um, and how we've described in the previous tech talks, um, the only thing that's actually operating in our in our Iceberg 20 is the refrigerant pump. That refrigerant pump draws only 200 to 300 watts, depending on, on the capacity that we're uh, distributing. And um, what that means is that we can get ear ratings during the peak hours of the day mm -hmm. uh, when you're cooling with ice of 150. 150? That's right. Um, and then... The, the, the seer, what, what's going to happen is that the end customer is actually going to be paying a whole lot less than what you would expect from the seer rating because the seer ratings imply that you're going to be operating during the worst 
and hottest part of the day. Right. With with the iceberg 20, you're going to be delivering ice at an ear of 150. Right. Those middle, you know, during those um, parts of the day. So um, we're doing, you know, we did the sear rating to help our, uh, you know, we did the sear um, rating tests to help out uh, the permitting process, to help out our sales channels, sure. to make sure that people understand that this is a this is an air conditioner, but it very definitely is a conservative value. And um, we're actually working with the standards um, bodies, the HRI and ASHRAE, to really come up with a new standard where we can do hybrid air conditioning um, sear testing that's a bit um, more reflective of what we actually, the conditions under which we actually operate. As we know, the IB20 is a hybrid solution providing direct cooling and thermal energy storage from our ice. Tell, tell us about the specifications on the IB20. So the Iceberg 20, like the Iceberg 30 and the Iceberg 10 that we've spoken about, the, uh, the naming convention really is about how many ton hours of cooling it can store in its tank. Right. So the Iceberg 20 can store 20 ton hours in the tank. Um, what that means in, in real life is that if you were to hook this up in a in, in a home in California that's uh, got five tons of cooling and a uh, standard HVAC system that has uh, five tons of cooling, the um, Iceberg 20 would be able to provide four hours of uninterrupted cooling right. for, you know, at, at five tons. Roughly what size house are we talking about? That would be a house be anywhere between 2,000 and 3,000 square feet. Marcel, great news about uh, the SEER testing in the IB20. The first time we've ever had one of our units SEER tested. We'll catch you in the next Tech Talk series. Sounds good.